have a passion for classic magic and I love performing in the traditional style. I am particularly interested in the golden age of magic. Harry Keller, Howard Thurston, and Dante. Howard Thurston is in the middle of that section of the holders of the mantle of magic. He became famous for doing card manipulations. So to honor the memory of Howard Thurston, I'd like to present my own card manipulation routine. It goes something like this. When I first learned how to handle cards, I was young. I learned how to shuffle cards and deal cards while playing rummy with my mother and my little sister over a summer holidays. I soon, soon got interested in magic though. When I got interested in magic, I had to learn how to spread out cards to have somebody select a card. I discovered that there was an elegant way to do that. It's called a pressure fan. And with a pressure fan, you get a very nice looking display for a person to select a card from. Then I discovered that from a pressure fan, you can close it with the same hand. Open it and close it. And that's a very nice display. If you do a pressure fan on the other side, though, you get this illusion of the faces vanishing. The backs are still there, but the vases, faces have all vanished. Turning it back around, the faces all reappear once again. Now the next step after doing that is to do fans in both hands at the same time. And that lets you get this nice ripple effect, plus you often see magicians holding cards like this. This is a nice photo moment. Now the next step after doing two fans with two hands is to do two, a double fan with just one hand. This requires a sort of Zen sort of awareness in order to make the cards go together just right. And if you get it correctly, then you're able to get this beautiful double fan in one hand. And the way that you get out of this is called the Cascade Shuffle, which looks just like that. That brings us into cuts. The first one-handed flourish cut I learned was the Charlier cut. Many people have seen this. It was originally used as a way to control a card. I wanted to learn how to do it in my non-dominant hand as well. And then I decided I wanted to take it a little bit further. I wanted to see if I could do a Charlier cut with only half a deck. And that is really difficult because it's only 26 cards I'm cutting there. And then to see if I could do it in my other hand as well. <laughs> and then the ultimate challenge to do both hands at once without even looking at them. I've never seen anyone else do this. And that's really, really difficult to do. Now the next step after this, it gets into what uh, we call card juggling or uh, cardistry. This is a very simple display of what you can see if you look online. You can find magicians that do just incredible things with a deck of cards. Like I said, this is just a very elementary display of the type of things that the skilled magicians can do. I like to close my routine with what people think is the most difficult card flourish at all. Bringing the cards from hand to hand. It's really very simple. And what people think is the easiest card for each of all, which is actually the most difficult, the waterfall. It is not easy to do. And that is my card manipulation routine. Thank you.